The shooting incident at the Steps to Christ Center involving MP for Ewutu Senior East and Minister for Special Development Initiatives, Mavis Harkumsen, was the subject of diverse views in Parliament on Tuesday, 21st July 2020. MP for Kumbungu, Ras Mubarak, was of the view that Harkumsen must be held before the Privileges Committee of the House. It is an option I am exploring that a motion would be filed for her to appear before the Privileges Committee and answer some questions. Because you see, what she did at the polling station could have serious implications. Because when you fire shots and somebody else has a gun on him or her, the person out of panic may also decide to fire back. In a crowded area, you know what would have happened. Somebody could have been hurt. And as we speak, I would encourage you to do your checks on the ground. Some of the bullets she claimed were warning shots ended up in people's shops. The minority chief whip and the first deputy majority chief whip, however, disagreed with the suggestion from the Kumbungu lawmaker. What is right is right. What is wrong is wrong, regardless of who is involved. Look, parliament, we have a challenge. And this privilege committee, or we as well think that it can be used more for external people than internal people. So I have proposed an ethics committee. It is now into the new standard. I want to believe if we had ethics committee. I mean, this would be straight without even raising a, a, a doubt. Privileges, well, they, you've seen how we've done. When some of us speak callously and, I mean, uh, threaten people and do all manner of things, you bring the person to privileges. And we failed. We've just failed ourselves. And we failed our, our citizens. That we cannot even act to hold ourselves in check. It doesn't lie in your mouth to just say because she shot a gun, we should call her to the Privileges Committee. Where we have an, a very strong body like the police to do investigation and come out with facts. Why should you waste our time as Privileges Committee to come and do what? And the Privileges Committee, yes, when you, have, when, when you have a very able body like the police to do that, and you are calling on members of parliament to under, I don't think so. I disagree with you. And those who do that call. Ahead of the media budget review on the 23rd of July, some members of the extended leadership of the House shared their expectations. I expect me to be explaining certain things to the people of Ghana. Recently, Pierre had come out about 1.5 billion of our oil revenue cannot be accounted for. I think he should come and account to us where that money is. Two, in his last budget, he indicated that he will convert all PPAs, power purchasing agreement, from take or pay to take and pay. As far as I'm aware, there has not been any implementation of that. We expect him to explain to us why and if he has implemented it, to what extent. The third one is the uh, waterfall mechanism. It has a lot of challenges. He should explain to us how he's going to, how he has implemented it. How happy are the independent power producers, the uh, VRA, ECG, Gridco, PURC in respect to that implementation of the water, uh, waterfall mechanism. I hear people say the minister should come and account for the coronavirus money. There's not a place for that thing. Mm -hmm. In this country, all our expenditures, at the end of the year, we submit it to the Auditor General. He vets it. He audits it. And then he submits an account back to Parliament on how we have expended. So how can the minister who has been giving money himself comes to the house and he says, I'm accounting for this. We are told those two cities. So I didn't know where you Is that what we do here? It's for the Auditor General to vet the accounts and come and submit a report back. So this is not the place for that. I vet your minds to section 28 of the PFM. It spells out what the minister should come and do. If he comes and he does any other thing, he will be straying out into matters that are not required of him. On the floor, Members continued with the consideration of the lands bill. Parliament took considerable time to look at the consideration stage of the lands bill, which is currently being, you know, taken through the mechanics of lawmaking in the House. Reporting for City News, my name is Duke Mentopoku.